Right now we have a proof of concept that we can build a blade with bamboo and mycelium. We want to do structural testing to find out how fast a rotation we can have, how much power we can generate. The wind turbine should be able to survive 85 miles an hour winds. We need to test that in order to have a viable product for the market. The final product we are looking at is a turbine blade. It has to invest some aerodynamic layout. That's why I've been working on designing ribs, having the bamboo sticks as long drones, because we definitely want to guide the overall aerodynamic geometry of the blade. One of the aspects that I want to explore is if you keep this material alive, will it seal the cracks that come from usage? So a self-healing material, but you have to keep it alive enough to do that job. Without overstating what this can do, you know, the real world applications can possibly be endless, right? We're looking for a material that's self-healing, compostable, and has a zero carbon footprint. I am excited about working with structures made of mycelium because it will break down toxins. We have all these contaminants in our soils, in our waterways, and this is what we want to try to decontaminate with uh, fungi. This research is very applicable to many different things. I hope to take this project into my future and with that kind of help develop more sustainable engineering practices wherever I go. We don't really have a lot of options <laughs> to not be sustainable. And it's nice to see the next generation of people wanting to go into this field.